and you are watching Invite to Your Life TV, where we deserve that you do, where we, no, we deserve our best life, and so do you. So do you, so you can have it right now. Okay. <clears throat> Step, oh. <laughs> Step three. <laughs> to RSVP to your best life. So you gotta tell me, Janine, how does knowing your life's purpose make you excited and motivated to get up in the morning or start your day? It's actually really cool. Um, knowing your life purpose is the difference between the people who wake up excited in their day and the others who are kind of just checking through on autopilot on their yeah. life. And the reason is because when you know your life purpose, you're really connected to a deeper part of yourself. You connect to others in a deeper way. Mm -hmm. You connect to your work in a different, different and deeper way. And so decision making is easier. Connection is easier. Mm -hmm. And life is actually ultimately easier. So knowing your purpose really feeds and fuels you. And it, it does leave you excited to wake up in the morning. Okay. So what happens if you're not excited to wake up in the morning? What if you don't know what your purpose is? How does one find it? Well, that's what we're going to do today, actually. We're going to share three tips on how you can create and discover your life purpose. Mm -hmm. Step one, identify three times in your life, three different moments when you were in the flow state. A time in your life when you felt really connected to what you were doing, inspired, almost like you're vibrating with happiness and you just know that you're in the right place, doing the right thing, excited and loving life. Once you've thought of the three moments in your life when you were in the flow state, you're going to want to write a short paragraph about each of those times answering the following questions. Who did you get to be during that time? What were you feeling? How did you show up differently in life? How were your actions, feelings, and results a contribution to the world around you? Step two, identify what happened right before entering that flow state. What were the challenges and actions that you took that actually happened right before or in this time leading up to that flow state period of your life? Hmm, that one's tough, right? You gotta get, dig a little deeper there. Always dig a little deeper. This is my favorite part of discovering your life purpose. What we're gonna do is look at the three flow states you found before and identify the challenges, decisions, and actions you took that led you to getting into that flow state. What we're gonna do here, guys, is shift your mindset about what challenges really mean for you in your life and have a new perspective that's more empowering. Step three, we're actually going to write out and design your purpose statement. Mm. Now you're ready to design your purpose statement. Discovering your life purpose is just a matter of looking at the best moments in your life and defining what made those your best moments. So look through the three paragraphs that you wrote about those flow states that you experienced and identify what are the things that were the same about who you got to be, what you were feeling, and how you were showing up to life. Notice the parts that were repetitive and you're going to design those into a purpose statement because that is actually who you want to be. You're going to start your purpose statement with the purpose of my life is to and you're going to follow it by the things that you found that were the common thread through those three flow states that you identified. 
And then just as an extra bonus, I gave you the challenges that you had to face to go through before those flow states as a way of identifying the challenges that your spirit will always be calling into your life to keep you on track to your purpose. So I actually just took Shay through a coaching session on discovering her life purpose using the exact same three tools and strategies that I just shared with you, which was really exciting and really fun. And I think we really got some good information yeah. and like a solid purpose statement for Shalene. Yeah, it was really cool because I actually do wake up every day with energy and motivated um, getting ready to start my day. Um, but knowing what my purpose is and actually defining it, writing down on paper, I kind of have a mission statement now that gives me clarity. Exactly. And it's like a guide that's gonna take me through, you know, aligning all of my actions up with my purpose. Mm -hmm. And it was just really powerful. I got really emotional at the end. And you I did. think that's it was, a I was too. I did too. clear sign that, um, that it was actually, authentic and that's real. That's a good point. A lot of people will say when you actually, you'll know when you create your purpose statement, if you are on point, because you will get emotional, you really, your spirit and your soul mm -hmm. and your life become has a deeper meaning and purpose so you should get emotional now it was it was really a surprise so and why don't you tell them a little bit about so we took you through we found those three flow states mm -hmm. and then i went through it i just asked you tell me what you like i'm going to read back what you said yeah. and as i did you, i was like what's the same what was like the common thread mm -hmm. through all three what so was, e just e a even though things? all three flow states were very different circumstances the same sort of feelings and words that to describe what was happening kept coming up. So um, creativity, organization, mm -hmm. um, leadership, and connect, feeling connected and uh, connected to people challenged. and challenged and fun, which is also really important. So I know that no matter what I'm doing, my job is really to connect to people and connect people together through creativity, organization, and leadership. And it's got to be fun and challenging for me and those involved, or it's not as worthwhile. Mm -hmm. So I know that if an opportunity comes my way and those things are missing, I'm, I can pass it up with confidence and know that I'm gonna something else will come my way. Mm -hmm. So when we tied all that together and made your, your mission purpose statement, I think the coolest thing in our conversation was discovering that your purpose, once you figure it out, you don't have to s subscribe yourself to just one identity or one profession or one talent. And you'll notice that your purpose statement really can fly free in everything that you mm -hmm. do and you as you connect to that purpose mm -hmm. you can find it in many different avenues and areas of your yeah. life and so i thought that was you don't have to label yourself i'm not always shay the trainer it's, right i could be doing something totally different right making jewelry she made me this <laughs> necklace to I wear did. today it's just really really <laughs> and cool. that brings me great joy and challenge and organization and you're connecting and to other people because they're all going to want one now i know <laughs> um yeah. Cool. So we hope that today our tips and what, what we've shared with you and from Shay's personal journey with finding her purpose statement, that you'll go out and embrace fear and own your life with these tips and really invite to your life and use your purpose as a way to navigate, enjoy, excel, create, and love. Did you catch that? Here's today's Tweetspiration. Thanks so much for sharing and chatting with us today. We'll see you next week for more tools to invite to your best life. And we want to hear from you. So once you've figured out your purpose statement, come back here and leave it in the comments below for others to see. Bye. Bye. <laughs> invite to Your Life Masterclass is happening live in NYC. Check the masterclass page on the website or follow the link below to reserve your spot now. See, See you there. there. Hey, what did we do? We just yeah, that was good, right? Wednesdays on Invite to Your Life TV. We'll be discovering your soulmate workout.